The most conventional use of chest of drawers would be in a bedroom, where it would be used as a place for folded clothing. In this case, an industrial version made out of both metal and wood would bring an industrial aspect to your bedroom that won't be too harsh in appearance for a cozy bedroom. This could be wonderfully accompanied by a smaller chest of drawers that would look great beside the bed. One place where a vintage chest of drawers would work wonderfully with a vintage industrial furniture decor would be an industrially styled office. It could be accompanied by a metal and wood desk and leather chairs that would bring together a truly industrial decor. If you are looking for a masculine overtone in your design style for your office, then an industrial decor may be exactly what you are looking for. Other industrial pieces aside from the chest would blend well and create the ambience you were first seeking. Hello hello dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you part 2 of our metal frame chest of drawers and metal frame buffet design ideas video for your inspiration. You can use these designs to try to make your own pieces at home. Watch the video until the end so never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you haven't watched the part 1 video, please do so by using the links in the video description and on the screen. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Your subscription means a lot to us and inspires us to create more content. Therefore, please please subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. An extremely industrial style of chest made entirely of metal that has a beautiful dark patina would be a great place to organize documents and place any tools and items commonly used in an office setting. With the mind of an interior designer, an industrial chest of drawers could be incorporated into any room with ease. It can even be used in a workspace such as a workshop or office building environment to set the tone for the decor of your business. Like most of other pieces of furniture, this commonplace furnishing first began to be widely used during the medieval times in Europe within the homes of the nobles. As it once was known, the coffer was a simple wooden box with a hinged lid that could have been made with or without feet. The coffer eventually became to take the form of what we know of today as a chest of drawers when the drawers began to be added to the furnishing. Just like most pieces of furniture in this period, the chest of drawers was made of out of oak. This piece eventually was made out of French walnut and a few of these pieces have managed to survive until today. Although the chest of drawers was frequently made out of wood, industrial versions made out of metal were also made to cater for industrial environments like factories and workshops. Today, both antique wood and metal pieces have been refurbished and refinished and sold as a vintage chest of drawers. These vintage pieces have been retreated in numerous ways that have allowed them to have a second life in a new home.
Popular techniques such as wallpapering and painting over a vintage chest of drawers have become the standard for vintage pieces. They have also become versatile in their function. More recently, waist-high chests of drawers have been used as consoles in entranceways or hallways and have been typically accompanied by mirrors or paintings to cover the empty space above it. The search for a vintage chest of drawers can become a do-it-yourself project which leads you to an antique store and ends with applying a varnish, wallpaper or paint to refinish a vintage chest of drawers to your liking. Of course, these vintage pieces can be made of on your own or can be purchased by professionals and manufacturers who make it their job to hunt for used pieces and recycle them and in turn refurbish some to be sold again as a vintage furnishing. This clearly takes away the hassle that most people go through to create their own vintage chest of drawers. Of course, this may be the experience you're looking for, in this case, to start your search in antique stores and of course second-hand stores where you can find damaged or distressed pieces at a much lower cost but need a little more work. When we come to history of chest of drawers in America, about 175 years marks the span when the chest of drawers was being made by American cabinet makers. During this time, step by step, the transition was accomplished from its predecessor, the Hadley chest, to the chest of drawers of the Greek Revival period. Cabinet makers in America followed the prevailing styles but flavored them with their own interpretations and adaptations. Therefore, the chests of drawers they made had individuality, whether they were sophisticated, town pieces or simple ones made in small villages for a farmer clientele of plain tests and limited purse. Judging from the few examples that have survived, the first chest of drawers were made between 1675 and 1700. These were directly evolved from the carved oaken chests made by Nicholas Dishbro and his New England contemporaries. About 1820 came the beginning of the end, artistically at least, since it brought in the American Empire, which from the start was heavier and less delicate in details of both design and decorative carving. Mahogany was the principal wood used and many top drawers, front and sides were of rich crushed grain mahogany, veneered or native American softwoods, chief chiefly white pine. The front feet were carved to simulate animal paws and there was a pair of half-round pilasters surmounting them. If these were carved, the pineapple and acanthus leaf were favorite motifs. Twenty years of American empire resulted in more bulk and less carving to be followed by the Greek Revival style, inspired as the name indicates by the architecture of ancient Greece. In this new style, the chest of drawers made almost entirely of coarse grained mahogany veneer generally had columns at the front corners but the carved power feet were replaced by turned ones generally higher than wide.
Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting metal frame chest of drawers and buffet design ideas for you in inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your project from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.